Please stop. You're not allowed to do sport because you have a vagina. What? And... No, it's not working. But as you helped, here's the price for you. So I get a price for something that I'm forbidden to do? Makes sense. And welcome in things that you might not know about. It's something you said, it's something you said, was beautiful, the world inside my head. Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about. Hi, welcome in things that you might not know we start a long time ago and the first thing to take in consideration is that the sport as we know and define it today was only invented in the 19th century do you say i don't know back which means before that they used to do it very differently mostly because during antiquity sport the practice was more religious while during the middle age it would be more military when we talk about antiquity the first thing to think about is disease death no yes but i meant in sport ah. so chariot race it was the biggest thing at the time very intense and quite dangerous frankly Death wasn't rare. See? Death. I was right. You said this world build a wall, a wall inside my head. It's so warm in here. This is with no surprise that women were forbidden to do it. That changed from today. However, in Rome, they will participate to gladiators' fight. Women against women, of course. So the women... I lost the word. Uh -huh. The representation we have of those events show the women with nothing on the breast, like completely naked, like the male gladiator sometimes. So is it a representation of the artist wanting to show that there are women, or was it really like that? Oh, we don't know. Just kind of stop thinking that it would be kind of weird to fight with a sword with nothing to maintain all of that. In general, the society in ancient Greece had a pretty demeaning role for the women. They were mostly seen as object or decoration, like some kind of cactus or something like that. But it's going in contrast with the women of Sparta. This says Sparta! Ah! We don't scream like that on people! Descend please. Oops. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Savage. So the Spartans were educated and physically fit because of a training based on gymnastic, dance and singing. Princess Shiniska And was a very uh -huh. was a very active and athletic child who were given the same opportunities as her brother. And in 396, encouraged by her brother, who mostly wanted to mock the game by putting a woman in it, this car will compete in the child's races and will be uh, so hard to do. It's hard to speak. It's hard to do words. Oh, but I can do robot. Can do, can do. Siniska will compete in the Chaos races and will become the first woman to ever win the Olympic Games. And she will do it again in 392. That's my girl. Hey! That's my girl! Oh, sorry, no, there is a mistake. Women are not allowed to watch the game. What? 
but she's yes and no she won and she's participating but you're not allowed to watch it that's the rules what a strange world you're not what i asked for if i'm honest i know i will give it all back for a chance to start it over and we write an ending or two well that girl that i knew who was reckless just enough who gets hurt but you learn how to tough it up when she's bruised and get used by a man who can't love. Ash by Eric Low. In middle. In the. In middle age, the very. <laughs> in middle age, the very physical sport will be done per man for a woman. You know, like you see in a movie, like. It's for you, my lady. No, because no. I'm obviously not capable of riding a horse. <laughs> Sorry, but when it's not physically intense, uh, what do they consider intense? <laughs> I have no idea. Wearing a bag, maybe walking. So when it's not, they'll totally allow too. We obviously talk about the upper social class level of people here, because otherwise the normal people and the poor couldn't afford to do it, first of all, because they needed to work to feed themselves. Voila! I don't know why I talk like that. So the rich women will go to hunt, not bears and tigers, stuff like that. That was too savage for them. <laughs> Delicate. But birds and stuff like that, the things like that, they could do the light, elegant thing. Yes, of course. Do they slaughter animals with their dicks? Uh, apparently, that was a thing. Maybe they didn't have knife at the time. That's what I thought. By the end of 19th century, all kind of sports will be enjoyed by women, mostly the upper social class still. Into the international com uh, com uh, blah, blah, blah. and mm, according to the international committee. Uh, According to the International Olympic Committee for the Modern Olympic Games, only 12 female athletes have participated to the second game. That was for second. 12 out of 1066. That ring a bell. From 19 countries. And for the fourth London Olympic Games, they could only participate in sports that were considered feminine sport. And per who was that decided? Per man! Because <laughs> that's the thing that men do, apparently, controlling women. They like that. In Japan, during the 1920s, competition between schools girls will start more and more with different sports. And in 1926, Women's Japan's Sport Federation was established to send female athletes to international competitions. So as you can see, it's still very early that women are able to compete and considered as equally competent. And there is still a lot to do on that still. We are far from real equality or equity. As you prefer. Maybe we should slot? No. No. Oh, come on. You're not fun. There is still a very low ratio of female coaches and executive in sport organization. Which is a shame. I don't know why, but I have the feeling that someone who's having a period for most of her life and is suffering, literally suffering, might be a little bit more patient and stronger. Don't know, just saying, you know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, and don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile. Me, the word is coming always in my mind. I'm wishing for the one I love who found me to die. To die.